What we learned about this square is that it's at night you can get a little unsavory. There's a lot of prostitution, drug dealers. Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen's World and the next stop of my world tour, Medellin, Colombia. In this video, I'll be sharing how I spent two days in Medellin. So if you're planning a trip or just curious about how it is, if it's safe, what to do, then make sure you keep on watching. We arrived in Medellin after a short flight from Bogota. If you want basic information about arriving into Colombia from the US, then make sure you check out my Bogota video, which I'll link down below for you. We took an Uber from Jose Maria Cordova International Airport to our hotel in the Loreles neighborhood. This 40 minute drive into the city cost us 86,800 pesos or $18. We stayed in the Loreles neighborhood, which is a residential area that is very walkable as well. We were close to supermarkets, shops, restaurants, and Calle Setenta if you want nightlife. I would recommend staying in Loreles, just not in the hotel that we stayed in. our first night at Casa Rosales and we're having breakfast now which is made to order. Um, I have to say for the first time in the last two months that we've been traveling I didn't sleep well and usually I get to bed and I just no problem but the there's no AC in here it's just a fan and I don't like the sound of a fan not that it's super hot either but it gets a little bit humid and then like early in the morning i think we're close to an airport so all you hear are airplanes i'm not picky with my mattress or my pillows but it wasn't doing it and we have two more nights here i'll make sure to exhaust myself to the point where i'll just knock out tonight so today's plan is that we booked a walking tour another free walking tour with beyond columbia okay so we will see you guys at the tour We started our day with the free cultural downtown walking tour with Beyond Colombia. We used this tour company in Bogota, Medellin, and Cartagena and really liked the quality of their tours and the knowledge of their guides. Our meeting point was in Plaza Botero, which is about a 45 minute walk from our hotel, but since we were running late, we took an Uber. This should have been a 10 minute drive, but with all the morning traffic, it took us almost 30 minutes. Honestly, thank God we took an Uber because we drove past some areas that I definitely would not want to walk through. The tour was two and a half hours long and our guide Santiago walked us through the history of the Paisa people, the different commercial areas of downtown, Pablo Escobar's impact on the city, and Medellin's transformation over the past decades. We made a pit stop, a uh, little break for our tour, and we're at a bakery called Versailles. It's an Argentinian bakery and we got the most popular empanada. And unlike the empanadas here in Colombia, it's not fried, it's baked. I know it's hard to see because it's kind of squashed, but this has like a beef filling and it's very, very tasty. And the outside isn't super thick. I don't like when the empanadas are all dough. And This place has the best empanada that I've eaten since I've been in Colombia. And it's not even a Colombian empanada. It's an Argentinian empanada. If you're in the center of town and, and you want souvenirs, you can come to Mi Viejo Pueblo. He said if you want to come for, he likes to use the term fair and square. You can come here and get your souvenirs. Fair and square. So actually, our sugar cane is different than some other sugar cane. This is produced in the region. And if you see, it has a really hard skin. But it's actually sweeter on the inside. Yeah, what we learned about this square is that it's at night you can get a little unsavory. There's a lot of prostitution, drug dealers.
close. I did say just to make sure, of course, as anywhere, just make sure of your belongings. And there's a little area on the other side where he thinks that people sell, you know, the GoPros, the iPhones, <laughs> selfie stuff, cameras that they steal from people. I'm really glad we did the tour in El Centro, downtown, just because I wouldn't want to walk around this area by myself, to be honest. It's kind of sketchy, it's a lot of people, it's a lot going on. Towards the end of the tour, he said, oh, there's some drug dealers behind us, and... So yeah, if you're gonna be in Medellin, of course you'll be coming downtown, there's a lot of beautiful buildings and Botero sculptures, a lot of history, but yeah, definitely do it with the tour just safer that way again I wouldn't want to I personally wouldn't want to walk around here by myself during the daytime after the tour we took another uber to the neighborhood of El Poblado which was just 15 minutes away similar to Loreles this is another neighborhood in Medellin that is recommended for tourists to stay Here we have a coconut lemonade, which is lemonade with coconut cream. I ordered the jugo, the mango, so some mango juice. Our vegetable chop chai. Here we have the beef kimbap with fried egg on the inside. I wouldn't say that this is like super authentic. It's definitely more gingery and saucy than chop chai that I like, but it's still good, it's tasty. During our tour today, Santi mentioned that a really good place to go to buy clothes that are made in Colombia that are good quality, then you should come to a street called Primavera. And I think this is the street behind us. He said um, there are like, Clothes range from $20 to $40, but they're good quality. The designs are unique. You'll only find it in Colombia. And this street is super cute. There's like really small boutiques and uh, coffee shops and restaurants. So definitely check it out. One thing I want to mention about walking in Colombia. Let me show you. I don't know if I'll have a good example, but you really have to be careful with the street, the roads. You never know if there's going to be a pothole, a... Uh, a missing brick. I've seen these just missing and then they're just full of trash and they're empty and imagine just ah! So we're on Carrera 40 a street which has Parque Lleras which is over there where you see all that orange it's under construction but this area is supposed to be where you find all the restaurants nightlife it's supposed to be popping but it's under major construction so I don't know when this will be done and ready. We ended up at the rooftop bar at Marquis Hotel. This was recommended to us by someone we just met on the street when we got lost looking for another rooftop bar. It's not very big, but it has amazing views of the city, super friendly staff, delicious cocktails and dessert, and all at a really good price. So we just got back to our hotel room and it smells like paint fumes. Uh, aside from that though, one thing I do have to say is that the laundry service here is a bargain in my humble opinion. It's such a deal because you can fill up that whole trash bag, literally a trash bag, pretty big, uh, all for 20,000 pesos, so that's $4 to clean all oh, oh. so it's almost six o'clock we made it back to our hotel we're gonna call it a day um we're just gonna get some work done now in the lobby of our hotel just because you know after dark we don't really want to be out we fun fact there is an airport really close to us 
the one that was making all the noises this morning because all the airplanes were taking off. But during our tour today, we learned that this airport was used by Pablo Escobar to ship his product out. And there's a neighborhood that's actually pretty close by to us. It's called Trinidad. And that's where he stored the drugs, right? Um, so that area is actually has the most drug dealers. Funny thing is that we actually had to drive through the, that neighborhood when we were coming back from our Uber ride from El Poblado. Uh, so it was interesting to see. I mean, definitely not a place you want to go through at night or during the day or by yourself or in general. Tomorrow is going to be our second full day in Medellin and we have a day tour. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Ciao. Good morning. Good morning. It's day two in Medellin and we are at the metro stop station Estadio where we are meeting up with uh, our tour company, Tours Guatepe. Uh, they're gonna pick us up at 8.30. We actually walked here from our hotel. It was like a 27 minute walk down a very safe street. It's a Calle 70, uh, which leads to the university. So it's very busy, very safe. There are two pickup options. You can either get picked up in El Poblado at 8 or in the Laureles area at 8.30. So super convenient depending on which area you're staying in because people will most likely be staying in one or the other. Yeah, this was $30. Pro tip, we booked this through Civitates, Civitates for $30. I'm like, oh wow, what a deal, a bargain. And then after we booked and they gave us the information of the actual tour company, which is Tours Guatemala, I went to their website and it's $18. So save yourself $12, book directly with the company. But actually, no, 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 no. Wait for me to give you my review at the end of the day to see if this company is bueno or no bueno. Well, for today, we're not doing that. We're, we're taking that highway so we can go further on the east area of the state. It's 11 o'clock and we finally made it. There's that giant piece of rock. Uh, the ride was pretty scenic. Once we got off of that freeway out of the city, there was a lot of green, a lot of farms. And yeah, now we're here. We did have to, during the bus ride, they shared a lot of information with us. Sandy, our guide, he's very funny. He talks like a rapper. And we made our lunch decision. And we also, if you decide to walk up the rock, it's uh, $4, 20,000 pesos. So make sure you have that readily available because the guys buy your tickets for you. Exact change is appreciated. So yeah, we're gonna go uh, use the restroom now. He's gonna lead us to the free one, not the one where they're gonna charge us. And then we can head on up. Sandy also mentioned that don't buy our souvenirs here because it's expensive. We're gonna go to we're gonna go into Guatapé Town later, and it'll be better prices. Uh, it's supposed to take 15 to 20 minutes to get up, so let's get started. Hope my knees don't shake too much. Here's the view from step 300 something-ish. At this point, there's a little balcony you can step off on. You can pray to the Virgin Mary. Made it! Took approximately 20 minutes with a couple of pit stops to let my knees from stopping the shakes. But again, as I always say, if I can do it, then most people can do it. And just like that, we are back down. It took about 15 minutes. Obviously coming down is easier than going up. Uh, there are some narrow spots 
dark spots. I hit my, I hit the side of my ear on a turn because I was wearing my sunglasses. Anyway, um, yeah, but they have a lot of handrails, so just make sure you hold on to the handrails. We made it to our restaurant for lunch, which is inside the city, inside the town of Guatafe. It was only a 10 minute ride, and sorry if it's really loud. We got our lemonade, more like a limeade actually. I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with the lunch that we got. We had three options, fish, chicken, or the typical bandeja paisa. And my chicken breast was moist, tasty, had fries, rice. What else did I have? A salad. And uh, yeah, what more can you ask for? Considering the price of this tour. So very impressed with the food that we got. Oh yeah, we got lemonade too, which is, refreshing so yeah i'm gonna hang out let the food settle in before we go on our 40 minute boat ride he wants to come with us hey woo! We are at La Tiendita de Chocolate, a little chocolate store. We got some goodies. This was recommended to us by Sandy, our tour guide slash rapper. I'll show you guys what I got in a second. Apparently there's tons of stray dogs here, but they take really good care of them. So, uh, 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 no, 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 no. He wants my chocolate. He wants my chocolate. Nope. You can't eat chocolate, you're gonna die. Well, we're gonna have to do it like this because these stray dogs are eyeing me. I got the chocolate covered marshmallows, the barquillos, Nutella cookie rolls, and the leche and almendras bar. <sighs> Sorry for the awful lighting. I'm working with what I have over here at the hotel. I want to give a little recap of our day trip to Guatape. For $30, it was definitely worth, it was a great value. I think the entire day was really well organized. Our guides were great, English speaking ones, Sandy. The lunch was good. I think all the activities they had planned for us was fun and just enough. Didn't feel rushed at all because we had plenty of time when we were at La Piedra and also when we were in Guatape, we had a whole hour to ourselves as well. And the bus ride was super comfortable both ways, fell asleep. So if you're coming to Medellin and even if you're limited on time like us and we only have two days, I still 1 million percent recommend going on this day trip. Book it through Guatape tours directly. You save 12 bucks and it'll be $18, which makes it even a bigger bargain. And that wraps up my two days in Medellin. I hope this video helps you prepare for your trip to Medellin. And if you found this video helpful, please hit, or should I say smash that like button. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram for real life updates on where I am in my world tour. Gracias for watching. And if you're nosy and you wanna see where the next stop on my world tour is, then make sure to subscribe.